1000 and today I'm going to upload the video that we did live last night with Miss Ladida um, and put it on my channel so you guys can see that. Um, we did it for Timu and we had products, we had a good time as you can see in the video and we're going to try to do it um, once a month. Um, not really sure if we're going to do an exact date or anything, you know. Um, but we're going we're gonna to try to do it once a month and um, yeah, it'll be fun. So we had a good time and yeah, I liked, I liked some of her products. Um, she, she had a really pretty um, sun catcher. That was really, really pretty. So um, you have to check that out. And I'm fogging up because the camera was in the house in the air conditioning and I'm outside. So now I'm going to fog up. So um, anyways... I hope you enjoy the video and enjoy. All right, so I'm going to open it up. I think half the world knows where I live anyways. <laughs> so, no biggie. Oh, so, we don't want to show that part though. Yeah, so there we go. All right, so I'm going to open it up. I think half the world knows where I live anyways. <laughs> so, no biggie. All right, let me see what we got here. Oh, you're popping up on my phone, so that's a good thing. Let me see. They pack these things well. Alright, what do we want to do? Alright, I'll do this one first. Okay, what I did, I use these sponges for, um, can you see that? There we go. Um, for doing dishes. So, I buy these usually at Dollar Tree for $1.25. I think you get two in a pack. Um, sometimes I'll get them at Dollar General. They're a little bit more. So, I got these and they were $1.77 for 12. So I wanted to That's see how well they were. So I thought I'd try these little doodads out. They look like they're pretty thick. So that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, they do. And if they last, you know, a decent amount, you know, whatever. Because I change mine, you know, quite often. I have to change it. So there we go. I'm getting them. Awesome. So that's oh, my nice. first one. I'm not going to take them out because they're, they're sponges. <laughs> Okay, so I have already unbagged mine because when I got it, I felt the bag and it felt like something was broke. And so I wanted to check all of my items to make sure that nothing was broke. So mine's already out of the famous orange pack and everything. So let me get to my first item and I am super excited about this. This right here is an ice um, bucket. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it also has the scoop with it mm -hmm. and three trays, but they're the small cube, yeah. the small round ice cubes. And my husband absolutely loves these um, small round ice. So I got it for him mostly. And I think that lid is just really cute too. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't remember what I paid exactly for each item, but I will say this. In total, I paid $60 for everything that I'm about to show you. That was my final total. That's so good. Just keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. Now, I have a few that I usually, that are um, on this haul, are a little bit more expensive than what I usually would have gotten. But there are things that I needed. <laughs> so I got them. So that's pretty cool. And... See, I have an ice maker on this fridge, which is my mother's fridge. Mine is in the garage. So, yeah, I didn't have an ice maker, an outside water thing. So, we switched. And her fridge is bigger than mine. So, But I, I see a lot of people buy those little um, ice cubes. They seem to like them a lot. I want to get the rose one. You Have you seen those? Yes. Yeah, I want to get one of those and try them. Yeah, I think they're pretty. Anyways, off we go. All right, we're going to do Mr. Bruno. Mr. Bruno, I got him a new little shirt for his for him. He likes these shirts. Aww. He likes his pajamas, and he likes his shirts. He's here with me right now. 
I paid two thirty eight for this. I did get a large for him. Um, I did one time. I bought a medium, and it didn't seem to fit, so I did get him this. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> He's right here. I don't know if you can see him or not. But, look, Bruno, mommy got you sweater for winter time. That is adorable. You can wear this. So. <laughs> yeah, come up here. Come on, jump, jump. That's a good boy. There he is. There's the Bruno. So he gets cold. You know, we have the air conditioner on, and he gets really cold and stuff. So I like to put something on him at nighttime or something. And then sometimes if it's cold going out, he likes to dress like daddy. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, when your kids grow up, this is what happens. <laughs> you end up with fur babies. So we'll do it up later. But that's the idea of it. Very cute. Yeah, I think he'll like that. He's cool. Okay, now go show daddy. Off you go. Oh, run to grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Very cute. Yeah. So I got um, it. My next item is this doohickey right here and you're probably saying what the heck is that well it is a bag that it hangs on the wall and you put um, plastic grocery bags down in it mm -hmm. and you will pull them out from down here right. um, my grocery bags are taking up so much space in my pantry right now so i just decided that i would get this and i'll probably hang it um somewhere in the kitchen where it's just easy to grab a plastic bag out instead of it taking up room on one of the shelves in my pantry um i use you know plastic bags for a lot of things um cleaning and sometimes i'll even take them back to the store they have a recycle bin there and you can just throw a bunch of them into that recycle bin to be recycled sometimes i do that sometimes i just reuse the bags at the grocery store so I always save them and yeah, like I said, I got tired of them just taking up space in my pantry. So I got that little doodad and I'm gonna put them in there and see what happens. Yeah, I used to have one a long time ago. I don't know what happened to it. I, I have had, no idea. I had one too, yeah. but I don't know what happened they, to it. And they were not cheap either. I think I bought mine at Walmart many years ago. And I don't know what happened to the dang thing, but I used it for a long time. And I used them, too, for all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, they're handy. They're handy to have. <clears throat> I should get another one. <laughs> what I do for her, because she has to have them, so for her for her room, mm -hmm. I, I roll them up and I put them in a Kleenex, an old Kleenex box, and roll them up. And you can, you can put them in that. And she does that, so... Cool. Okay. Okay. Off we go. All right. What are we doing next? Oh. <coughs> okay. So this is kind of frustrating what I got because I play the games. I don't know if you play the farm game and the fish game. So I have that on the fish game, you pick two gifts that you want. So when you, you get down to all the food that you're supposed to get, I'm down to, I think, four cents on my, my thing right now. But it takes a long time to do this. And I really kind of mm -hmm. needed these. So I decided I'm just going to buy them because I didn't know if I was going to win them or not. So and now I'm going to end up maybe with two of them. <laughs> So, uh, I don't know, but these are kind of expensive. Um, they ran $25.97. These are salt and pepper shakers. And they, this is glass. And I need new ones really badly. So, those are nice. Yeah, they are. I like them. Um, and they automatically grind for you. So, you don't have to do anything but do this. <laughs> So, um, yeah, there's two of them in this. So that's, I got a set, so salt and pepper. And I think, I thought there was supposed to be a, um, maybe this one don't have it, but I think the one I'm supposed to win 
has a USB cord for it, and you instead of using batteries. Oh wow! Yeah, I bet you this one don't. Ah, uh, batteries. Got to do batteries. Oops, sorry. There you go. Yeah. Let me try. That kind of sucks because I will. I like the other one. I think with the USB cord. I thought mm -hmm. that would that was more interesting. That's a lot of batteries I got to put in the sucker. But if it works, you know. It's it's cool. It made it here, so that's good. They're pretty. They are pretty. I like yeah, them. It's very pretty. Yeah, and they're bigger than the ones I have. I bought the little tiny ones at Walmart when I bought my house. Mm -hmm. They're about this size. So these are gonna. These are a lot bigger. So maybe this will be nicer. So that's what I got. All right. My next item is um, these are aloe infused gloves that you wear at night while you sleep. If you have severely dry skin like I do um, from washing dishes and also I am a diabetic. Um, so my skin, my hands especially are just seem to always be dry no matter how much lotion I put on them or no matter what kind of lotion I put on them because I have tried all different kinds of lotions. I just cannot keep my skin and my hands from drying out. So I wanted to try these aloe infused gloves and see if these work. Um, that They feel so cool. Like you can feel they're like they have like a squishy material. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it, but you can actually feel like the aloe in them. So I'm pretty excited to wear these at night and they're super duper soft. Um, so I am pretty excited. I'm gonna put one on. Oh yeah, they're nice and cold on the inside too. Ooh, mm. yes. Oh, this feels wonderful, yeah. They're nice and cold, and then they have that gel-like material on the inside. And uh -huh. even on the outside, they're super soft as well. That's different. Yeah. I've never seen anything like that. Interesting. I knew a girl that her skin actually flaked all of her hands. She had some kind of disease, yeah. and it and it would just flake constantly. She would have to wear white gloves. They used to, and they put oh. special cream on her hands. Uh-huh. And a lot of medications will dry you out very yeah. fast, too. That's why I got to drink that water. Yes. Water, water. I am constantly, constantly drinking water. Didn't know you were diabetic. Yes. Well, join the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I inherited it from her and my father, so I had both of them, so. Same with me. Comes yeah. from both sides. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. Oh. Okay. Yeah. But we'll survive, right? That's right. I gotta get my body out there and start walking. I keep saying I'm gonna do it. It hasn't happened yet. Okay, so I bought one of these for my mom a uh, few I think a couple of videos back, maybe. Mm -hmm. Um it's a light. It's an LED sensor light. Uh, if I can get it out. Anyways, I bought her one for her bedroom, and I have it on the wall so she can see um, at night a little bit better. Um, instead of having to, because I have a ceiling fan in her room with a light on it, but it's not a remote controller. You have to use the, the switch. So she can't get up. So usually she falls asleep and I have to turn it off. So I got that for her to see how well she'd like it. And she seemed to like it. So I've got me one too. I can't get it out of here. I'm trying. And you notice how bent the boxes are. But that's part of Timu. I'm going to have to rip it. Anyways, I have two places I want to put this at. I'm not sure exactly if I'm going to where. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna have to tear this because this box is really bad. So I might put it in our closet in the bedroom because I had one in there, and the problem with that one is they were batteries, and so you would have to push it. There were those round push button ones. Mm -hmm. You push them, and they have batteries in them. And after a while, the batteries go, and you know how that works. There we go. There's the light. I believe this is wow. a sensor. 
it has a sensor thing on here if i don't use it there i'm going to use it above my kitchen sink because we we want to do is the pocket lights like i have in the ceiling in my kitchen mm -hmm. but we want to put a couple of the pocket lights over that kitchen sink but the problem is he's got to climb into the attic where the spiders are and he's not happy about that and he has to go quite a distance a little bit so for now maybe i can use this over there i'll mm -hmm. see if i like it it gives you a usb cord if yeah that is super bright that is a great light yeah so i might try this in my closet i don't know that or it's going to be over there but um, and it's great here. if the power you goes out i can't get it off and i can't get the usb cord out of the box there we go okay oh so my mom has a long magnet these are little magnets whoops there you go you can see those mm -hmm. so that's interesting hers have one long piece of magnet and then you what you do you take the backing off and you put it on your wall or wherever you want it and then you stick this on let me see and then this will stick to this so now, if you want to you can take it off and yeah. you can use it this way or you can leave it on the wall if you want so but every one of these um you, got, you have to check the wholesalers that are selling them because every one of them is a little bit different and of course they're cutting corners to save a little bit of money as you can see i like hers better i think because it was better quality but mm -hmm. i'm still going to use this it's not like i'm not so yeah and i paid three dollars and 98 cents with this and there's a usb cord that goes with it that's what i like is because i don't have to put batteries in it i can just charge it and it lasts a long time too that's great that's a really reasonable price for that yeah yeah and they have all different sizes too this is supposed to be the long sense sensor light it's a 300 mm whatever that is so that was interesting but i'm not too yeah. happy i'm not happy with these now uh -uh. they should have gave you the bigger one the well, long one my like just you. a long yeah, strip it's one long strip and and then you can take it off but i'm not happy with these but it is what it is <laughs> so all right so my next item is this adorable sun catcher um so i just need to buy a suction cup to put onto my window and then this will hang um i don't i hope you can see the black cat pretty good but that's yeah, practically pretty. the whole reason that i bought it um for two reasons um if you if you're familiar with my channel you know that i have a black cat her name is monami she's made appearance a couple of times but also because my mom um on her deathbed my mom said if you ever see a blue butterfly that is me think of me so when i saw this on timu i had to have it it's the a black cat and she's reaching up to touch the blue butterfly it's Aww. really pretty isn't it yeah that's pretty i like that a lot really yeah. pretty yeah okay what else do we got i think that's okay i don't know what it is i don't remember <laughs> I think this might be something for my, yeah, I think it is. Okay, this is going to be for my diamond painting. If you've seen my videos during diamond painting. I don't know if you've ever done that. I've, I'm just, I have not. I just started, so it's interesting. And I got, it's been around a long time, but I didn't know that. So after you finish your picture or whatever, I did, I did keychains. That's what I did for right now to see how it was like. And um, I gave her a keychain. She put it on a purse, and I did one for me. And I'm going to do a picture for her room. So I got some diamond. It is diamond painting sealer. So when you're finished, you put this on top 
of it and it prevents the the diamonds from falling out oh very so, nice yeah i was watching one guy and he did one and he bought some clear um paint to put on top of it afterwards but then i found this on timu and i was like well this is really meant for that so mm -hmm. i thought yeah i get that and it gives you a little brush to go with it so oh, that's awesome yeah, I'm going to try to do the keychains with it, so maybe the be the diamonds won't fall off. So I paid $3.19 for that. Wow, excellent yeah. deal. Yeah, yeah. So. Okay, next up for me is some jammies that I got, and I hope they fit because... I am losing weight like really, really fast. And I went by Timu's sizing guide, which I don't know is correct for me anymore. I think I should have went down a size than what I normally have been buying. But anyway, so these, this is the top. This is like a silky, satiny feel, very lightweight sleep tank. Mm hmm and then it also came with matching shorts. That was cute. What and color? I got this um, this color right here, which is like a like a golden, like kind of a khaki color. And then I got black mm. <laughs> and also red. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, very nice. <laughs> oh, <she's laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, I cannot wait to wash these up and wear them because they feel super duper soft. Yeah. And at night when I sleep, I get so hot. It could, mm -hmm. I could be sleeping in the middle of an igloo and I'm still burning up. Yeah. So I'm anxious to try those and um, they look so, they feel so comfy and light and airy. So yeah. I'm really excited to try them. Yeah, that, they look really nice. I like those. Very nice. I'm always looking for something cooler. I I wear my summer ones in the winter, and all I do if I get cold, I put a sweater on. Yeah, that's me <laughs> too. A sweater on, because I'm always hot. Always. Me too. Always. Yeah. All right. This next thing is kind of for camping. It's for both of us. Kind of be probably more for him because he does all the cooking. So it is a cover for our knives. Um, we have, you know, flay knives for fishing and stuff, and mm -hmm. we got them, got them for him uh, from Walmart, but they didn't come in a case or nothing, so we're always putting aluminum foil around the blades so we don't cut, and I got them in wrapping and all this crap, so I decided to buy a cover that you just put your blades and stuff in for camping. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, and then you just kind of roll it up after you put them all in there, and there's room for all kinds of different size knives and stuff for camping and stuff. And I paid, whoops, sorry, this thing's going crazy on me. Paid four dollars and ninety eight cents in it, and they did. I think they only had came in black, but then you roll it up like that, and then you can carry it. Oh wow, that is super convenient. Yeah, I think it'll be a lot better than what I've been doing with the knives rolling them up in the aluminum foil and all that and so trying to maybe make it more organized when we go camping because I put we have two big duffel bags one's for the tent and then I have another one for all our cooking stuff and then I keep it all together so when we want to go all I really have to do is pack the food and our clothes and just pick oh, wow. yeah so it makes it light that'll be super convenient that'll come in handy then yeah knives, definitely i think so okay my next item is going to be a craft item and it is a clock and of course can you figure out which cat i got yeah, the black one <laughs> well yeah so i got the black cat um and so it comes in a kit that you have to put together so it comes like this and then it's got all of the pieces in the back mm -hmm. 
So this is something that when you get it, you will have to put it together. But it is very hard plastic and mm -hmm. it is excellent quality. Um, I mean, this is a really nice clock and I am so excited to get it put together and get it hung up on my wall. I can't wait. Aww. So. <laughs> she had to wait. <laughs> Aww, that's cute. I miss my kitty. She was a good kitty too. Ugh, everything's falling here. Okay. Now the next thing I got was for camping. Yeah, this is for camping. Uh, I can get it out. My arm's not working too good, so it makes it hurt. I don't know where the scissors went. They were down beside me. Are they there? All right. I have to open this up a little bit more. They really tape the sides. Everybody seems to think that Timu does these um, taping things, and it's not Timu. It's Customs that does this because they slice them open. They check to make sure everything's legal, and then they tape them up like this. So, Shaver's been having trouble. He's having trouble with overheating because of his heart it's not pumping right and um and it's really hot here and he wants to go camping but he we've tried a couple of times and we've had to come home but the nice thing is our campground's like maybe what 10 minutes away yeah and, and um they're free so we book them online and we go when we want and if we don't feel like staying we can come home so <laughs> he hasn't been feeling good because it got so overheated um the last few times so we have had to come home and um so anyways this is a ceiling fan camper light i guess they call it it's a movable fan that you put in your tent oh that is so cool i have seen those those are really cool and i hope this will help him you know make him feel better where because he loves to camp, you know. He wants to go camping in a tent. He doesn't want to go camping in a camper. And I kind of tried to tell him, you know, we're getting older. We're getting to that point where we might have to graduate to a pop camper maybe. Mm -hmm. You know, at least if he got overheated, you know, there's air conditioning in it and he could cool off. Mm -hmm. But we'll try this and see how well he likes it for camping. And, of course, my thing moved again. Okay, where to go? Okay, this was. Let me see how much it was. This was twenty two dollars and eighty seven cents. Oh wow! It, yeah, if it works for it. him, it it will be worth it for him. You know, it it hangs. It's supposed to hang from the top of your camp, your tent, and you can also do it different ways. I don't know. Let's see if it's working. Usually they are. There's the light there. And, oh, yeah. Ooh. There you go. Yeah. It's so, quiet. There you go. Yeah, that it is quiet. quiet. Yeah. And I think you can adjust it like this and hang it like that. Uh-huh. Yeah, like, that's really neat. Isn't that nice? I think that might help. Oh, that's nice. You feel it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're at high now. There you go. So you can see. Yeah. Blow you away. It's very quiet though. Yeah, it is. Yeah, not too bad. So I did spend a little bit more than usual, but um yeah, like I said, if it's worth it for him, then so be it. Oh, it's got different levels of the light too. I think there's three different levels. So and it gives you this is also a USB cord that you use. Can't open anything. Horrible. And there's the cord for it. That is really nice. And even if we graduate to a camper, I think this would work good. Oh yeah. yeah. That would definitely cool off a nice little camper quickly. Right. So here's the little direction kind of thing they give you here. If you want to freeze it, you know, later on and you guys can read it. But um yeah, so I'm hoping that will work for him. So. Okay. That is awesome. 
All right, well, I'm down to my last item. So I'm going to open it up so I can fold it out so you can see the full thing. And so this is it. Oh, that's so cute. Is it a mat? Yeah, it's home sweet home with kitties. On. Yes, it's a Wilka mat. And the back of it has um, like traction on it so it won't slide all over the the front stoop area or your front porch. It's going to stay right where you put it when you throw it on the ground. Good. So that's what I really like. And it's super soft. It is really soft. I'm like, I have never felt a welcome mat before where the top of it was soft. Yeah. So, yeah. So I am very excited to get this out onto my front porch. It's going it to look so cute. large. It looks pretty It big. is very large. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's really good. All right. So this other thing I got here. Okay, this is what it looks like in the box. This is for my diamond painting. I bought a magnifying glass, kind of has a light on it to try to do the magnifying, but I have to look <laughs> down, okay, all the time. And it kind of hurts my, my neck and stuff. So I'm trying to try to make my life easier with my condition that's going on. So um this is what they call this they call it a led light board for for diamond painting oh my goodness look at it so they give you these uh, i just bought one of these too i got a case so you can put all your little diamonds in here that's cool and it comes with this it also comes, they could have put these in a little bag. They could have got lost. These are little clips that you can put on your, um, the side of the board. So it holds the painting down so it doesn't roll up and stuff. Oh, there. okay. Those the little black clips. Yeah. I, I, I think I might use mine. These are okay, but they're awful tiny. I think mine might be a little bit bigger than these. Um, then it gives you, here is your directions here. Oh, it comes in English too. There you go. And there's the kind of the directions there for it. I will have to set this up. And this, uh, I take it is like the bracket or something for it. So, um, oh yeah. And this thing was a little expensive too. This also, I wonder what this is for I guess to straighten out your beads and stuff because mm -hmm. you know sometimes you're trying to get them in these little tiny holes and you can straighten them up so that's probably what that's for and this is the board I paid twenty dollars and seventy nine cents for this so I hope it works a little bit better because what it does there's the board it has the cellophane still on it. Um, you use these brackets and it kind of holds it up like you like a book thing holder or um, like a cell phone holder or something like that. And then that way you can put your diamond thing on here and you clip those little clips here and then you can see a little bit better. It's on a slant. Yeah, it's more like on a slant. So your neck doesn't get sore. Yeah, so yeah because I have to be careful because I have a plate in my neck now and they want to do more surgery. I'm not happy. So anyways, yeah, this, I, hopefully this will work pretty good. So, cause I, I figured this might help me to do her, um, her, her painting. There's a light on here, but I don't, I don't see, I see where it is. But I don't see it coming on, so I might have to charge it or something. Ah, I see. Wait a minute here. Yeah, that's where the uh, USB cord goes, right? Way in that little hole there. So they didn't—they didn't charge it. Usually, Timu stuff is all charged. 
So I'll have to charge it and see if it works and how well it works. Did they send you the cord to go with it, the USB cord? I don't see it unless it's in the box. Look in that box, Mom. But, yeah, you would think they would give you one, right? No, nope, there's nothing in here. So, hmm. I'll have to figure it out. Maybe we've got an extra one somewhere. Well, I got, I got, we got some. thousands of them. <laughs> yeah, so. uh, I don't know why they wouldn't give you one. You know, is there, is there anything in there? No. Mm -hmm. Hold up. And then this is here. nothing says hi in the chats. Hmm. Hmm. So this is cool. Yeah, this is nice though. If it works the way I want it to, I think it'll be really nice. Yeah. And it just kind of and there's there's where you turn the light on. But so oh, you just press that little button and then yeah. so where is the or is that the light or is the whole thing the light? No, it'll light up. The, the whole, whole thing, thing lights, lights up. up. Oh, okay, lights up. okay. The whole thing will light up. Do you remember those light bright things? Uh huh. Yeah. Kind of like that. Well, when they light up. Uh, it's like that. The whole thing lights up so you can you can see. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Well, that will come in real handy then. That is awesome. Well, I hope so. I hope that it'll be handy to, to do my diamond painting so I can enjoy it a little bit more. Because it'll be sitting up, you know. It won't be flat. So it'll be sitting up like this once I put those brackets on the side. So I'll have to do a review on this. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I'd like to see it in action. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to see it in action too. So, well, I do my, my videos. I've done two. So I did mine, um, the little love keychain I did, and then I did her butterfly the other day. So is that it? That might be the cord right oh, there. there. I it think is. I found it on the floor. And I dropped that other thing. No, well, I'll get it after. Okay, there we go. USB cord. So we're all That yeah. is awesome. Yeah. Cool, eh? Yeah, it's like cool. This. And how much did you pay for that item? I paid twenty dollars. Twenty dollars and seventy nine cents. Wow, because you know, at a craft store, you would probably have paid double for that easily. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 So. There's the cord. I'll, I'll have to plug it in and and get it charging. And I'll do I'll do my review on it. Yeah, when I do my diamond thing, I'm gonna start working on her her picture so I can put it up in her bedroom. <laughs> so, and that's it. I do have one more, but um, I'm going to do. It's a mystery box. Okay. That I bought from um, Timu. And I paid $2.69 for the mystery box. So they do a random thing. I believe I get five items in it. And so I'm going to do a separate video on that one. So, so how I did you get the mystery box? Is that because I've never seen that before? You punch in mystery box and it will come up all different kinds of mystery box. But they're not really mystery boxes. <laughs> they come in a bag. So they call them mystery box, but yeah. So, and so you it, don't know what, what you're getting? like no, just... no. Now you might say, okay, it's jewelry, or it might say, um, you know, kitchen items or something like that. And the more you pay, of course, the better the item is. But I just wanted to see what it was like. Mm -hmm. So I just, um, you bought, I bought something cheap. It's jewelry, but it's a bunch of jewelry. That's what it's going to be. So, well, still really for what two dollars and ninety four cents you said, and you're getting five pieces. Mm -hmm. So five. that is a heck of a deal. So, so um, and I've said this in one of my previous videos. I think I said it on my last haul video that I did. People are talking all kinds of crap about Timu, but I just want to put it out there that. They're not anything like um, Shine is. Um, they, I have done some research on a couple of items, and I have found the exact same items on Timu on Amazon for way oh, yeah. higher prices. Right. So what I'm thinking that Timu is is actually Amazon overstock 
products possibly or discontinued items i don't know could be well, what it is, they just they just take out the middleman that's what they've done so you're going directly to these wholesalers that's what you're doing and there's millions of them so if you find one item that you want to buy and if you keep scrolling you will find it cheaper from another wholesaler that has exactly the same thing so a lot of people see that item and they click on it a little bit too fast so sometimes you got to do your homework on this stuff and you can find them cheaper and then also you got to watch who you what wholesaler you pick because some of them um, might cut costs a little bit cheaper than the other one you might have a better quality of the same product so I finding that out I bought two um, bath mats and I wanted one over by the bathtub and then I wanted one in front of the sink and um, I bought them at two different times well, the one by the bathtub that I bought first, the backing of it was gray set and it was has a grippy on it. It's supposed to be memory foam, you know. Mm -hmm. But after a while, the backing went completely flat. So it's no good. But the other one had a better backing on it. It was a nicer material, but it was the same thing, same pattern and everything, and it lasting a lot longer. So you you gotta be careful on your wholesalers yeah i finding anyways but that's so far, good to know yeah so far i i've liked pretty much everything i did buy a purse i was not happy with at all and it ended up in the garbage i didn't pay a whole lot for it but you know you you expect it to be what it says mm -hmm. and if if it's breaking after a couple of weeks it's, you know, obviously not what it's they say. So I ended up buying me another one from Timu. I mean, I'm not going to just buy one and, and because I had a bad experience. But I bought this other one, and I love it. It's, it's good quality. It's really nice. I mean, you know, it's a crossbody. I like mm -hmm. crossbodies because I need my hands free to push a wheelchair or whatever. And um, so I use that quite a bit. And I really like that purse a lot better. Well, and that's to be expected no matter where you buy something. You know, you could go to Kohl's and buy you a purse and the same thing can happen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's just, you know, it, it happens regardless. Um, but I will say, too, on all of the items that I have purchased from Timu, I have been very pleased with all of it. Um, like I said earlier, the clothing size that's my fault if I order the wrong one because I keep losing weight. So um, that's on me. But um, the quality of the clothes is really nice. I have, in fact, this top, uh, Nuffin Edited just mentioned it in the chat. This came from Timu. It was on one of my haul videos. I have several tops now that I have bought from Timu, and I absolutely love them. I wear them a lot. I wash them a lot. And they do just fine. I have not had any problems whatsoever with any of the products, actually, um, that I have ordered from Timu. Mm -hmm. It's, it, yeah, I can't say it enough that if you're on the fence about ordering from them because of bad stuff that people have said, um, you know what? You can get bad stuff from everywhere. You can order bad stuff on Amazon. You can go to Kohl's and I hate to pick on Kohl's, but you can go there and you could get a bad product too. So just ignore what the bad people are saying because people like right. to complain about something. Oh, so yeah. ignore the bad, just give it a try. What have you got to lose? The yeah. prices are phenomenal. Oh my gosh. With Christmas coming up, <laughs> you know, and, and the prices at Timo, you're going to be able to afford to buy more for people yes. um, because even if you're on a tight budget, you can buy more products because their prices are so low. Right. Um, so, yeah, I highly recommend um, Timo. I like them a lot, obviously. Um, so go for it. Just do it. Just, you know, just do it. Just um if you're on the fence about it, spend ten dollars and order. Ten dollars could buy you all kinds of stuff on there. Seriously, it could. You saw the haul that I just did. I only spent sixty dollars, you guys. 
I could not go to another store, buy those same items, and only spend $60. There's no way. No. Mm -mm, no. And the same for Monkey. Yeah. Monkey bought some high-quality products, especially that camp fan, and she paid less than $25 for that camp fan. That's easily a $30 item at even Walmart probably, if not more. Yeah. So I definitely recommend Timu, just give them a chance. I and think they, they, they do that great. price adjustment too. Do you do that? I had one lady I was watching on and she does the price adjustment every single day. And they give you, um, if the price goes down, then you get that price. So just because you paid for it, you go on that price adjustment and it will, even if it's a penny, I take it and I put it into credit for Timu so I can buy more stuff. And uh, she had $17 on her account that she yeah. got back from, from them being on sale. So um, yeah, it worked out. She could buy a few things with that $17. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. She could buy some more mini makeup brushes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, she was so disappointed. I felt so bad for her. <laughs> that was the funniest thing I'd ever seen. <laughs> she said, that's what? And I said, that's your brushes you ordered. That was hilarious. Oh, my oh, gosh. God. That was hilarious. I died laughing. Yeah, she died. She, so I gave her mine. I had a kit that I got from a yard sale that never were used. It was a nice kit. And I only used maybe one or two out of that. And I gave her the rest. So <laughs> she has the bigger ones now. <laughs> but yeah. but uh, shirt um, from Timu, too. Yeah, I, I, I love my clothes. They yeah. wash so well. They yes. fit lovely. Yeah, she likes her. So. And all I have to do is buy my regular <laughs> size, which is a 16. So I'm fine. Yeah. Fits me good. Yeah, see, I've been buying an 18, and everybody says, go to size up, go to size up. And, and I did it once at the beginning with a pair of pants I bought, and they were way too big. So um, I just decided I'm going to just stick with my size, and that's it. So I mm -hmm. haven't had to take anything back. Everything's fit me well. So um, I think they have been watching our videos, too, and getting the information about um, the, the sizing. Uh, I think they're trying to learn from our videos, too. So. That sounds good. Yeah, I um, I order clothes off Amazon all the time, so I know kind of what size I am on Amazon. And so I thought, well, I'll go ahead and order that same size on Timu. Um, some stuff is, is spot on, but other stuff, just like the, um, the JAMAs that I showed earlier, I think those might be a little too big we will see um i am not going to do a try on however uh, <laughs> i know no, uh, <laughs> nobody wants to see that trust me so that's not going to happen but uh you'll just have to take my word for that but once i get the uh the clock put together i'll definitely do a video and show how to put the clock together and what it looks like uh, once it's put together. I am just super excited about it. It looks so adorable. And I hope that you show some of your um, diamond art too, Monkey, um, especially using the new board yeah. um, that you just bought. That is really cool. Yeah, so I'm hoping this will be good and it's gonna take me a while to do her picture. Uh, it's it's not real big, but it's, it's crowded. It's got a lot of diamonds going on in it, so. But it'll give me something I can do. I've been home getting bored and frustrated with all these doctors and stuff. So it gives me something else to do. And it's been raining so bad here. We've had I saw nothing. That. On the weather channel this morning, I'm like, woof, Florida yeah. is wind flooded. Yeah. So we can't even go outside, you know, do anything. Or it's too hot. It's a, well over a heat index. It's 110, 125, you know, so it's just too hot to be outside. So mm -hmm. I can't take her out in that. And Shea Bear can't go out because of his COPD. So 
Yeah, I like the shoes. I have bought, I bought two pairs of running shoes, mm -hmm. and I bought them. I'm a, usually a size nine, and I bought them for a 9.5, nine and a half. So the nine and a half fit perfectly, and I also bought a couple of flip flops, and I bought them in a nine and a half. So I did go up a little bit on the shoes because they did say the shoes are running, you know, a little bit smaller. But. I haven't had any trouble. They've been really good shoes. I've liked them. So, yeah. Well, that's good to know. That's good yeah. information. Well, I've seen that nothing ed edited was talking about the shoes. Mm -hmm. So, I was commenting to that. And and that's another channel, y'all, that I want to tell you about. Um, my good friend, Nuffin, is also a Timu fanatic now. She has, jo <laughs> she has joined the circle, um, <laughs> the Timu coven. Um, and she is also doing Timu hauls on her channel as well. So um, definitely um, check her channel out too. Nothing edited. Um, she's yeah. I've gotten her hooked on Timu. I think. <laughs> yeah, I got Nancy hooked on it too. She's going crazy over it. Oh wow! Been, oh yeah, she's been buying all kinds of stuff. <laughs> ah, I think we all get addicted. Yeah, it is very easy to do. It is easy to once you place that first order, you're like, oh, my God, I just ordered a ton of items and I spent next to nothing. Yeah. Um, it's it's great. Um, so my wish, uh, wish list is full. <laughs> very full. Oh, mine, too. Mine, yeah. too. And but I, I also have a huge announcement to make right now. So um, Captain Eggbeard and I are about to be parents oh no oh no oh, congratulations how did Thank that happen you. Oh, yeah. um, it, it's those 90s <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's because of timu no i'm just kidding um we are um in the process now of um adoption oh very so good. we're hoping that in by december uh we will have our baby so of course the first thing that i do is go on to timu and look up all the baby stuff and there yeah, is yeah. tons there's tons of it yes so, i bought my cranberry bee zoe uh, a butt child fits off of there and they're cute they're so cute yeah so my wish list on timu right now is full of baby items so i can't wait to um get that um bought and I will show all of that too um yeah it's super exciting um and and, and nothing yeah uh Captain Eggbeard and I we really do want a baby girl um but we will take whatever is available to us come December um as long as it's a healthy baby we'll take it so we are super excited we're um getting the nursery ready um right now so i have been extremely busy doing that on top of um uh other stuff that's going on too in our private life um so i've just been so busy here lately and that's why my channel this channel well and my other channel spooky marshmallow um i haven't done anything with it because i have just been so busy i don't have the time right now to um do the research and put the videos out and edit and all that so right. um so yeah my channels are going to be quiet for a while unless i do another one of these which right. i'm hoping to do oh yeah um, we're going to do these again they're fun it I would like be them. great for to pull more people in so maybe yeah. next time we can pull in nancy and we can pull in nothing and the go. four of us can do a huge um live collab i think that would be a lot of fun too yeah more the merrier. Do you know when this is going to happen with the baby? Uh, we complete our classes in December. Um, so we're thinking that uh, we were told that uh, we would get our baby very soon after completing classes. Mm -hmm. um, so we're thinking either December or January we will have our baby. Oh, you'll have it maybe for Christmas. Yes, that would be fantastic. Yeah, that would be, be the That's exciting. That's really <laughs> exciting. My best friend in Canada was adopted from um, English people, and she was a Canadian Indian. So, and we were 
really, really close. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Shea Bear, you're killing me. You crack me up. <laughs> a mini marshmallow. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> then you'll be really busy. Yes, yes. So, um, yeah, my channels are gonna go even more silent once the baby comes. So, yeah. So we're just so um, excited and happy, and we just we have a lot going on. So. Yeah, I won't be doing many videos um, for a good while. So, yeah. I have to buy her some baby clothes now. <laughs> oh, the, the baby clothes are so cheap on yes. Tumor. Unbelievable. They are. They are. Yes. Really I have found cool. like all kinds of cute stuff on Timu and I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, that's just so cheap. Like this kid is going to have more clothes than Captain Eggbeard and I put together. Like, <laughs> our whole lives like this kid is yeah this kid's gonna be spoiled rotten that's for sure so it's okay it's okay to do that <laughs> yeah i'm glad i got my grandbabies they're fun well is there anything else you would like to add before we end this live tonight no but we can do another one real soon <laughs> yes yes that would be great um definitely let's um let's have one in august um and um nothing if you're still watching um we can get together and i can let you know you know when we're going to do it um and then um monkey if you want to get nancy on board i yeah. i think i might still be subscribed to her channel uh, i'll have to look and see um, I was hoping she would pop in here tonight, but she, I didn't see her. So she um, got doing something. She said I texted her and told her. So, but yeah. So okay. okay. She's so doing baby dolls. She's been um, buying a lot of baby dolls, and she has got a channel on baby dolls, and she buys all these clothes for their baby dolls and accessories and stuff like that. So she's. She had to talk to one of the ladies that she buys the dolls from tonight. So, oh, gotcha. Yeah. It's another hobby she's doing so. <laughs> besides her trains. <laughs> all right. Well, and then that will be another channel for all of you out there. If you have not subscribed to her channel, um, definitely um, you'll want to check the, her channel out. Uh, Monkey, do you remember, happen to know right offhand what the name of her channel is by chance? Mm, she's changed it so much i know she's she's changed it around a lot that's why I, i'm not for sure if i'm still subscribed or not uh because i can't remember what the name of it is at right now on the top of my head well she's got she just has one i know it's called just nancy jones just her name and i think that's her dolls that she does on that one and then she still has the train one too but um she i think she's getting frustrated with the train thing with youtube so she she's kind of taking a break a little bit but All she right. did do a july a christmas in july thing for her train that was pretty but all right well that's another channel everybody if you're watching this video definitely give uh, nancy jones channel um a look see if you would and subscribe to her channel as well um this was so much fun and i do want to say um that also shea bear 1000 he has his own channel as well mm -hmm. um so check out shea bear 1000's channel um and yeah um if you have not checked out my second channel spooky marshmallow if you're into um horror movies or anything spooky definitely give spooky marshmallow a look see but like i said nothing new is going to be happening for a good while on either of my channels except the lives that we do with timu so all right well thank you everybody um for watching this has been so much fun monkey and mom um we definitely will be uh doing this again very soon um i'm gonna have to like just pick a little bit of items from my wish list 
Yes. Otherwise, I'll be spending a fortune for the next haul, and I really don't want to do that. So um, we will get um, back to all of you viewers out there next month. We will do another one of these, and hopefully we'll have a couple of more people to add into the Timu Coven. That's its new nickname. Um, <laughs> yeah. So um, it was great to see you both. Everybody take care. And we will see you next month. Thank you so much for watching. I am Miss Lottie Doll. And you are Mikey 1000. Bye, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye.